Hello everyone, Kerry the Craft here, that's C-E-R-I, The Crafter, and I'm here with another postcard. Now, if you're not familiar with what these are, um, I'm running a challenge in July 2024, although you can do the challenge whenever you want, to be honest with you. Just pick 31 consecutive days to launch 31 different postcards. Everything you need to know, description box below. If you scroll down a bit, there's the launch video, then there's three prep videos, then there's a prep video that's actually a flip through of all the stuff I prepared as well. And then if you use this in any of your social media search bars, it'll bring up all, all of the different creative things that are going on. And I'm loving it. Everyone's really enjoying so it. This is the back that I'm choosing. Sorry, it's only on thin cards so all my postcards get backed eventually anyway um i want to say that pattern was created with a stencil called ruin blocks um by paula keen in the netherlands um all all the stencils from foam stamps i'm using are all on the pm artist studio website guys so first of all i want to come in and i want to do a little bit of I want to put script on here because I'm going to use this owl, which is perfect for this. But I want something in the background to sort of signify knowledge or wisdom. So I've got these two stamps. These actually come as one. I've just got them in separate packages. It I can't even remember. It's a Tim Holtz Ranger one or Tim Holtz design. And I want to say it's something like script or something like that. So I'm just going to come in. I'm using an archival so that I've got a permanency. Now, I don't really need it to be perfect. In fact, I prefer it wasn't perfect because I want this on the background, but I don't want it to be dominant. I can just see that. I like things that you actually look into. I'd like it to be a little more dominant than that, though. Right, let's see if I can get a little more ink on here. The trouble is probably because this is acrylic paint and maybe it's not sticking to the surface enough. Or maybe I just didn't put enough ink on here. Because that was that, that choice. And I've got it upside down, I just realised. Maybe that's the reason it didn't work. The universe was telling me that I had it upside down. That's the right way up. But I just need it in the one area. So I'm going to really press that down and hopefully it'll get in contact and leave something behind. As I said, I'm looking for subtlety. I'm not looking for perfect or I would have used a lighter background. There you go. I've got a little bit in the back. I just like that grunginess that it gave. But if you look closer, you will see it script. I think that's probably why I like abstract art. And when I look at it in, say, a gallery or a museum, it's I like art that makes you look into it and wonder why. So if you look closely, you will see that it's script. Loving that. Now, before I put anything else on, there's a few things I need to do. I'm pulling in my ceramic tile because I'm going to be working with paint. I've got a forest green and I've got an olive green paint. Let's give a little bit of a shake up. Um, because I want to give the illusion of leaves leaves in the canopy there i'm not sure that oh, i do need to get some more paint i keep saying i need to get more paint and i never get around to getting more paint i just need to spend a little bit of time on the internet and have a bit of a shopping spree right, where's it gone well, i've got a bit of tissue paper here this could be deli paper, could be tracing paper, could be wax paper, could even be a napkin. And what I want to do is scrunch it up and then sort of cluster it together so that I've got multiple little surfaces. Do you see what I mean? So I'm making a stamp out of the paper. The more crunchy it is, the better. Uh, you can also use tin foil for this as well. So if I dip this in, and alternate between the two, what this will do, see, I'll get to this point. Do you see there? That's what I'm looking for as far as what it's leaving behind. So I'm going to tap it until I'm getting to almost there, and then I'm going to come in and work on the postcard. I want, I want the illusion that this is... Um, 
a forested glade or something like that. Do you see where I'm going? Just that subtlety in the background. I also want to cover this up a little bit down here because that's a little light for what I'm pertaining to. See, loving that. In fact, what I think I want to do, let's get another green. Now, this is a bit of a knock your socks off green, but I know if I use the tiniest touch of this, using the same thing, that will just... It's as if the light has caught some of the leaves. The trick is knowing when to stop, and sometimes I don't know when to stop. That's one of my downfalls. You see what I mean? I've now created a lovely bit of layering in the background, right? So this can go to one side. I mean, this video is not going to be a long video, so I can work on that later. Right, loving that. I do need to dry that because I'm going to smear it. So I'm going to stop you for two seconds. And I've got my little travel hair dry here. I'm going to hit this for a couple of seconds just to get it dry. So here we are dry. Now, as you can see, there's just that hint of a canopy there. I can still see the wording here, which I know is really subtle. I'm not sure it's picking up on the camera, but it's there for me. And then I've got my gorgeous owl, which will sit. Oh, actually, my owl's going to sit right over the top of my text. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Well, that's a bit disappointing. Maybe I wanted to, I'm going to redo the text down here. What have I put that stamp to? I didn't realise I put the text up too high. What I'm going to do is I think I'm going to use this bit, which is more open. I'm going to go down here. Now, I've got labels and things to go on down here, but what I have in my mind anyway. So hopefully I won't cover it up. Maybe the idea of a text was not the good idea if I've got so much more going on this card. But right, let's push that down. I know people get re-inkers for these, but I must admit, over the years, I've found when one of these runs out, I just buy another one of these because I'm not huge at re-inking. I don't know what it is. I just, I tried it once or twice. It didn't really work for me. It works for loads of other people, but me being me, didn't work for me. Okay, that did. That brought the text down and I can still see it. Okay, I'm happy now. I'm just trying to use text as being symbolic of knowledge. Right, Mr. Owl, you need to be out of the way because I don't want you damaged. Right, now I want something, as you can see, my owl's got lots of these lovely claws. I want something across the bottom for my owl to be stood on. And these are, you might have seen that it's in my very first, oh, if that wasn't so white. That would be lovely. Let's see if I've got something similar. Um, if you saw my first video, actually, that might do. In fact, that might do very, very well. Yes, I think we'll do that. Uh, these are, when I take a book apart, an old book, these are the bits that, like, this is the webbing that holds the spine in place. This is actually what's left when I took the pages out. This is some book binding fabric as well. I always save that stuff. Always, always save it because it's just so useful. I mean, where else could I get a bit of texture like that? That is exactly what I want my owl to sit upon. So I'm going to use art glitter glue for the simple reason that it's a really fast stick. It's a, it's a good glue for this sort of stuff. And I don't mind if it's 100% stuck down. A little bit sticking up occasionally is not going to worry me on this build. I'm just going to break the end of that off. Do I want a branch? The branch would look too contrived. Oh, but I don't mind that up there. Would it be up there? Let's just hang on to that. That piece could get used somewhere else. I've, I'm reticent to throw something like that out. Come on, Kerry, get the needle in the thing. There you go. I'm just going to come in over the top of this with a bit of distressing just to catch it to take away any... Oh, not take the whole thing away. Uh, that'll teach me to actually hold it for a second, let it stick. There you go. I'm happy with that. That's exactly what I wanted. Right, well, I'm thinking, does my owl need browning out at all? I don't think I want this part of the owl. I think I'm going to trim that part off when it comes to putting this down. A little bit of this on there, I think. 
Right. I think he should be... Shall I put him down with Art Littered Law? Yeah, I've got the Art Littered Law on the go. I could use um, a glue stick, which I normally would use, but I've already got this one out. And also, it, it's a background that I've actually added extra acrylic paint to, so maybe it was a wise decision to do this. Right? As I say, I don't really want him. I'm just going to turn that over and press from behind, just because I can give it a rub without disturbing anything on the front. I think that was a good move. Am I really low? No, I am in shot. I have this, I'm paranoid about keep sliding down because I tend to bring things closer and closer to myself. Right, let's cut this off before I glue it to something else. Let's put it over there before I stab myself with it. Now, I'm obviously keeping really much to the earthy tones in here, which is on purpose. Now, I did go through my little thing of ephemera and numbers and labels and stuff and I pulled out a few things I liked and this was another thing it's sort of a book plate or a certificate and I really quite liked that and I do think I just want to tear the edges a little bit more than they're already torn um, and I wanted it because again it it's sort of symbolic of reading and knowledge and because I don't know about you, but for me, uh, an owl has always meant wisdom. Um, unless you're a Harry Potter fan, and then it just means an owl is a male man. But, or male woman, should I say. Let's not be sexist about this. But I do like an owl. They're one of my favourite birds when it comes to using it for ephemera. And they're funny. Have you ever seen any videos where they've lifted their feathers up? They've got quite long legs, but they look like they were in like old-fashioned knickerbockers. They're, they're hysterical, absolutely hysterical to look at. Right, that's more of what I wanted. I want more the rugged edge to it. Excuse my sleeve. Right, I want to ink up the edge of this so it's it's in keeping with the rest of everything on here. Right, I'm going to be quite brave and I'm going to... I want that down there and I'm going to stick it down immediately so I don't procrastinate too much about what's going where else on here. I quite like that in there and I like the fact that it's almost, I don't want to say it's invisible to the background, but it, it's blending into the background. And I did pull out a couple of more things now. I was unsure whether to make this number 19 or number 11, and I think I'm going to go, go with the number 11, so that'll just go back in there. I'd like it to be number 10, but I, I really liked these number 11s that I found. The choice is which one do I want? I'm leaning towards this one, to be honest with you. Now, this is kind of where I was thinking I might like to bring this piece back into play. And I think I'm going to. Just pop that up there. A little press for a second. I think I'm not going to use those two. I'm just going to save the brown one. I've got this little envelope for my little tiny numbers because I keep putting things down. And then when I use the hair dryer, guess what? They blow all over the place. Right. Just muddy that up a bit. So it's more texture than anything else. Let's take this number 11. I might as well use this again. Yeah, I visioned it there. Yeah, let's see if I can slip that behind that. That was a bit of luck. Right, now up here looks quite empty and I want to try and do something about that. But what it is at the moment, I'm not 100% certain. Right, I pulled out every stamped thing I've got 
to see whether there's anything that's just going to work up there. Now, some of these are labels by Tracy Fox. Some are labels that I've just stamped with my rubber stamps onto book page. Other, there's just loads of stuff like, oh. That might be it. Let's just take these edges off here. I'm just looking at something to counterbalance that, to be honest. Just get that white bit off there. Okay, that might need to be dirtied up a bit, but let's have another quick look, just, just in case there's something that's absolutely perfect that I've just grabbed the very first thing. Ooh, actually, I quite like the Natural History Society. I like that little touch of red there. Right, I think this is going to be the one, and then we're going to consider this postcard done. It's just about, for me, it's just about the visual balance. I'm also one of these people who really likes to layer things up. So trying to keep things simplified is sometimes rather quite tough. Oh, I don't know whether you can hear that. That's Biscuit in the background. Biscuit's my golden Labrador. Well, the family's golden lab or yellow lab, whatever you call it. He's, he's a lovely old fella and he is getting old now, bless him. He's, I think he's 10 years old this year. So he's beginning to get that age where he's got one or two little health problems sneaking in, which worries us. But we have pet insurance. We have a very, very good vet and and he will want for nothing, I can tell you. Um, all, all of the dogs we've ever had in our lives are probably more family than our family are. So, and, and that's quite right. They give unconditional love. And when it's time that they need love back or care, as far as I'm concerned, they get whatever they want. So, but they can work out expensive people. If you're ever considering buying a dog or a cat or a pet, look at pet insurance. Sorry, that's not an advertisement because I'm not tied to any companies. But seriously, don't don't just go in blindfold. You've got to get pet insurance if you can afford it because pet bills are extortionate. Right, going to hit this with a hairdryer one more time so it's fully dried and then I get back to you. So here we go. For all of us owl lovers out here, I'm liking that. It. I like the fact that I managed to get that almost canopy, almost in the background, but it there. I like the fact that I did get the tiny bits of script in there, which if you look into this, which as I said, I like doing, I've got knowledge. I like the fact that I was able to get this texture in here. I didn't expect to get it that good and it does look a bit like bark. I like tying that in. So I'm happy with that. That was a good one, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed that one. And it's till the next time, I'm Kerry the Crafter. That's C-E-R-I the Crafter. Goodbye now.